Before I say my prediction, I just want to say what a spectacular season we had, bro. What a spectacular season we fucking had, bro. From uh, Victor Wembanyama, we get to see him play. Um, even though the Spurs was ass, he still won Rookie of the Year. He he's a future star in the league, man. We also had uh, my Knicks winning fifty games, first time in ten fucking years, bro, or technically eleven. But still, man, Knicks, man. I mean, even with Julius Randle and Mitchell Robinson and um, Boyan Bojanovic, he was out for the whole damn near the whole playoffs, bro. The Knicks still had a great season, but only if everyone was healthy, we would at least make the conference finals. I, I don't think they'll st still beat Boston, but shit, we probably would have had, we probably would have done better. But hopefully next year we won't get injured this time because what the Knicks just did this season, they will never do that shit again. They will never make it past the first round with that roster ever again. So, yeah, and then you got the Nuggets. Defending champions losing to the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves was a, I, I want to say they're a huge surprise because they won 56 games, but I never thought they would beat the Nuggets. But if you really look at the Nuggets, they kind of need some new guys, man. I mean, their bench looks ass. Um, who else? The Magic, the Orlando Magic. Paolo Benchero has a very bright fucking future. Well, this is only his second year. And the fact that he, um, I thought the Magic was going to get, um, was going to lose in five, but they went to seven, man. And even though they lost the series, bro, Paolo is proven that he's going to be a superstar in the NBA one day, bro. But yeah, a lot of crazy shit was happening in this league, man, and I cannot wait for next season, even though we got to wait till October. But, bro, we are now down to two final teams, which is the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics. Now, if you're wondering what my prediction was, like, if you see my playoff prediction video, I had the Nuggets and Celtics in the finals that had the Nuggets winning in seven, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Um, but, hey, I predicted the Celtics to make the finals, and I was right about that. But since um, this is Dallas versus Boston, my prediction of the 2024 NBA Finals will be... The Celtics in six. And even though I don't like the Celtics, I got to keep it honest and I got to keep it realistic. All right. What Dallas is doing is fucking amazing, bro. They're literally like if you look, if you look at the um, if you look at the, the bracket, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, every team that they beat in the playoffs, they had a better record than them. You got the Clippers, who won, who had like 51 wins. Like, like, mind you, Mavericks have 50 wins in this season, right? They beat a 51-win team, Clippers. They beat the best team in the West, OKC Thunder. I think they had 57, and they beat a 56-win team, Timberwolves. So every one of these teams that Dallas has beaten has got a better record than them, and they won at least 50 games. So, bro, Luca, bro, you got to give credit to Luca, bro. Um, even even if Luca loses this finals, bro, we really got to look out for the Mavericks, bro. Because if they're not going to win it this year, they're really going to try next year. For damn sure, bro. But the league is not going to be easy. Uh, you remember there's um, John Morant. A, a lot of people forget how, um, how good John Morant is to the Grizzlies, bro. Like the Grizzlies, they're going to have a huge comeback, bro. They have, a, they have the knife pick and everything. But this ain't about the Grizzlies, bro. This is the NBA Finals, bro. But yeah, Luka and Kyrie, they have an out. They're fucking outstanding. P.J. Washington, Derek Jones Jr., Gaffin and Lively always makes me jump out of my fucking seat every time they do fucking alley dunks. Make me go crazy. Um, yeah, Dallas, they, 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 deserve it. they deserve to make it here. They... They worked their fucking ass off to make it this far, bro. But unfortunately, this is where this is where um, they reached their limit. 
and I hate to say it because I really would love to see Luka win his first title. But if but you got to be honest in the NBA. You got to have like you got to be like really honest and realistic when you're watching the NBA, bro. The Boston Celtics have too much firepower right now, bro. Tatum, Brown, Porzingis, Drew Holiday, and Derek White, the best defensive backcourt in the NBA, and they're not even bad on offense either. So it's like, it's like, and then you got Al Horford and Pritchard coming off the bench. Hauser could give you three three pointers a game. Like, bro, that Celtics team is really stacked, bro. That Celtics team is really stacked. Um, but hey. If I'm wrong with my prediction, I mean that's okay. I mean I don't, I don't like the Celtics. I mean I do appreciate them for sweeping the Pacers after um, them shit talking us um, in the second round, but I think um, I, I got to be honest. I think Boston's gonna win it all. All right, and uh, besides, I do hate Boston a little less, uh, but the Boston Celtics fans, you guys smell like Guinness. All right. You guys smell like a whole fucking, like, pack of Guinness. All right. But, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I got Boston in six. Dallas is really going to try. Um, I, there's not, it's not a sweep. It, this is not going to be a sweep, bro. Kyrie's going to, bro, Boston fans, they hate Kyrie probably more than any other player that's playing right now. So, yeah, this is gonna be uh this is this is not only gonna be a good finals, this is gonna be a personal finals because also remember Przingis was teammates with Luca and now they're facing each other. Kyrie was teammates with Brown and Tatum and they're facing each other. Bro, this is not only a good finals, this is gonna be a personal finals. This is gonna be the finals that bro, I'm not gonna like miss one second, bro. This is going to be a very, very exciting finals. And I hope, I really hope this will be a competitive finals, bro. A, a competitive six-game NBA finals. If this goes to seven, that just makes everything better. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I got Celtics in six. Um, Tatum's, Tatum or actually, I think Jalen Brown might win finals MVP. Because Tatum, like, we all know how good Tatum is. But Jalen Brown has to be... I feel like Jalen Brown has to be that number one guy in order for Boston to win. Because you know how you won Eastern Conference MVP? He's got to be Finals MVP. They need Jalen Brown to, like, actually be that number one guy. At least for this year's Finals, bro. But uh, we'll see what happens. The Finals starts in June 6th on ABC. I think the first, I think game one is either 8 o'clock or 8.30 p.m. Eastern time if you're interested if you're not like really a big sports fan, but you're watching this video and you're, and you're like, you know what? Let me try to watch some basketball. Um, you're probably gonna have to wait six days. June 6th on um, ABC, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Game one of the NBA Finals. This shit's gonna be exciting, bro. Um, I can't fucking wait, bro. Hopefully my Knicks will be there next year. If not, you already know, man. If you don't know, I, I said this like, I said this for like the last uh, two years. The New York Knicks, they're gonna win the championship in 2026. 